Ah, yes, the brain. There is nothing like the brain. Hey, guys. Welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play, sort of. Um, I'm the Comic Foil, and Comic is playing Psychonauts, the first of the four games that I selected as winners of Steam Sember a while ago. Um, let's just start, hop right back in. I got a lot on my mind right now. Most importantly, this little guy, Raz here. So um, we're going to jump right in. In case you're wondering, so back during Steam Sember where I did... 30 episodes of 30 different games at the beginning. I did one of Psychonauts, where I played the very beginning of this game blind. This is going to be a blind let's play here of Psychonauts. I like how I can walk around this brain. So I did play the very beginning of it, and I thought about when I was going to pick this up as a full let's play, just starting with where I left off. But it's been a few months now. I want to remind myself where it is. I want to remind anybody watching this Let's Play, or if this is, you know, where they hopped in, they didn't watch Steam Sember. So this whole first episode, I'm going to use to build us right back to where I was at the end of that Steam Sember episode. So it's going to be a little bit of deja vu for some of you guys, but we're going to start a new game here, and... The human yeah. mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid... 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. I do really like this intro. I'll tell you though. what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. Dude really loves brains. He is. Forward, you are he is a brain enthusiast. Soldiers. He also there looks like a thumb. Paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. Roll credits. The rest of you will die. <laughs> I like how the one guy looks like a cowboy, too. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> they told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Have I mentioned Except that these that are the ugliest character designs I have ever I seen? Was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. Yeah, I'm trying I to scare people with my own ridiculous propaganda. Walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. So I guess those two older people aren't always here at the camp. That can't be the lake monster, we're not at the lake. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. So yeah, this is Raz, he's got mad. What Mental potential. It? It's just a little boy. Kind of looks like a bug. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. His brain is too strong. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. <laughs> but everybody oh, she calls got me. Weak in the knees. Raz. Please don't kill us. Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. 
Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? Is psychedets a I like real word? We like, need to have this young man take Raz seems to know what's going on, so I feel like psychedets what? might be a but real word. Don't you in this train universe. psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But to soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? He read that you pamphlet were born religiously. With a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Good memory, kid. Get that soldier a bunk. And from this, we're going to get a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Which we're actually going to break, like, Bobby, right away. We're just going to go walk so into lucky. training. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers... I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. Is your hair coming out through your they helmet? They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No! Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind gonna put me in the army all right so i get a bunk here because i guess it was actually nighttime it looked like it was the middle of the day then but i guess it was actually nighttime and this is where i think we get to yeah we create a profile um oh that kid is totally me crying on the first day of camp i did not uh, Dogen is not me. I wouldn't have been sucking my thumb at camp. Though I might have been laying on the bed backwards, because it's just comfy sometimes. Uh, yeah, we'll overwrite this profile here. Uh, this is the one I think I made last time during Steam Sember. And we'll keep the name Raz, because it just... Yeah, makes sense. Alright, good stuff. Um... So yeah, not the first time that I've saw, seen that video because I played the very beginning of this. Wow, he's falling right, asleep with a smile on his face. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Do you think you could turn down the sounds of the crickets and stuff? All right, so we're gonna go to the uh, psychic plane here, in our dreams, the uh, the astral plane, I guess. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Okay, and it's a uh, yeah, the right stick. What? Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Is there something cool up there, too? Yeah! Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. 
If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep Psy making core at the camp before store. you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. So we have like Where'd a time go? limit, sort of. That guy looks so familiar. It's me from the future. <laughs> I don't know. All right, to change your camera preferences and journal. Cool. All right. Oh, I thought I was going to get to grab the challenge marker. I guess I'm not. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Okay, Sailor. And... Basic braining is the best class ever! Yeah. So if I go back in here, can I, like, complete... Coach Oleander's obstacle course. So yeah, they said they weren't going to give me any training, but they do want me in Coach Oleander's class, like, right away. Let's do a little double jump here. Here we go. So I want to grab this. Congratulations, you found a loose Psy card. Collect nine of these, and you can build a Psy challenge marker out of them. Uh, but you'll need to get a Psy core from the camp store. And a little help from Ford Kroller. Um, let's... Oh, pulling something up. Psychically. First arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of Cytanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Alright, so let me just um check out the menu here. Uh cool. Um do a quick sync. Down, down, up, up, down, down. That that last down wasn't up. Cause yeah, I kind of had to open the game, and you never know when you're first opening the game if it's so, gonna you're dating Elsa sink now. right. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. Is that a bow, or does she have, like, rabbit ears on, like Louise Belcher? Well, you guys can still all go to class together, right? Hi. What's the rush? Well, you know what they say about slow rolling tumbleweeds. No time for chit chat, James. We're late for class. And I found another Psy marker down here. So yeah, we got another like 3D platformer, I'm a little bit of a collectathon. No. Oh yeah, and um, I would never Dogen talks to squirrels. I never kill everyone. <laughs> He's so scary. Why? I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Dogen's like the kid that gets bullied a lot, but he can bully kids worst of all. And it's like, oh, hey, the squirrels ran away. That's good. Or did they? There's a lot going on with Raz's outfit. Yeah, he freaking blows the hell out of those squirrels. Oh, I love it. I'm just wondering if there's a, um... Uh... If there's a, uh, subtitles, maybe? Full screen, brightness, okay. Whoa, whoa, hey! That's, that, that, that's not what I wanted to happen right there. Oh man, you got to look behind the curtain there. Sound? Um, subtitles, thank you. That That's just gonna make things easier for all of you guys. Okay, up, down, left, up, down, right, up. It's always, um, for, <laughs> first episode is always, always the most. So, we got uh, your squirrel problem out of the way? What happened to the squirrels? They lied, they lied, and then, then, then they, they left. So, I get the feeling, and again, I'm playing this game blind, except for how I played, like, 30 minutes of it before during Steam Sember, but I guess Dogen, I mean, all the kids here, like, manifested psychic powers, which makes them freaks, and I think Dogen must have been, like, he's so powerfully... He's got such latent psychic powers that he hurts people, I think, and I think he's made things explode. 
Um, he said like he made some heads explode once, one time. Uh, but yeah, we got a nice good 3D platformer. I'm always up for some 3D platformers. I think I'll be able to explore this area more later, but I want to get what's up there now. Also, I'm going to have to learn to, like, get good, but I am playing with the uh, 360 controller, which is personally my favorite kind of controller for using on a PC. It's not helping me jump very well, though. Okay, I jump a little bit higher every time I bounce off that. That's that's the problem there. That's what I'm not getting right. Um... I bet this is really deja vu for people who watch the Seems Sember episode because I know these scenes are making me think of the same things and say the same things that I said last time. But, um, this game is so beautifully created by Tim Schafer, um, who made. Ooh, what's back here? I don't know if I found this last time, but I'm sliding. Oh man, I'm doing like a Tarzan slide. Like a Disney's Tarzan slide. Surfaces covered with netting can be climbed up. And there's a safe here? Frozen solid. Frozen I solid. think I need... Maybe I can turn like pyrokinetic later and be able to melt that. But I guess I need to climb my way out of here. Um, so Tim Schafer um, is best known for four different games that he made. Those being Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, Grim Fandango, and Day of the Tentacle. And they're all such unique, colorful, imaginative worlds. And they're imaginative in a way that, like, it's not really... If you looked at all four of them next to each other, you might not know that they were all created by the same person. Because they're so unique from each other. Maybe there's something similar between any two of them. But... He's just so good at creating creative worlds with a completely different style each time. Um, wow, he is, he scrambles up that ladder. Okay, we come out of the well here. Neat. Um, there are birds. The birds are gro growing, glowing green, which makes me think that maybe I can, like, hit them and get something out of them. Because I got this um, psychic energy attack that, like, it makes giant telekinetic hands for me. What is in this room? Anything of interest? No, I was in here before. So, I think... I'll try climbing the pole, but I think we're about ready to go into class here. This is probably taking me a little bit longer than it did the first time, because I'm exploring a little bit more, now that I know that I'm actually going to want anything. Oh, that has got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. No way. Last year, you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, would you please welcome? No, the Firestarters. Oh man. <sighs> I think those are both good band names. If personally, we're call it that. We might as well call it Burning Itch. That what? is not a good band name. <laughs> wow, she got really mad about that. Guys, aren't we supposed to be like going to class right now? Though, I mean, I know I'm not because. I'm a video game character who explores everything and time goes on my schedule, but you guys should really be hurrying up. Oh, and how about you with your crazy tall hair? You, new boy. Shh. Sideshow Bob here. Nope. What's it you? Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Okay, so he's looking for a bear. That, 
that's enough of exploring for now. I'll, I'll head to class. But we got, like, we can get more powers by picking up more things, I guess. Oh, wow, I really, I really like the grinding thing he's doing. He's got some Sonic the Hedgehog action here. So let's head up to Oleander's classroom, which is more of a Oleander's treehouse. The real classroom, though, is in your mind. Whoa, okay. So I have a uh, ground pound that I can do with my attack. I was trying to jump and, like, swipe at that bird. Where are you going, Maloof? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Yeah, now we have the bullies. You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. Oh. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah. We'll settle this on the battlefield. That even reminds me of Sheen from Jimmy Neutron. A lot of things in this remind me of other things just in general. But yeah, let's go ahead and start class. Oh, sorry, man. Coach Oleander? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get suspended. Son, you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. You know, it makes it's sense, though, that the other sure two would run around not want to train me, but that this guy would, because he was saying he's got plans for me. He he wants to make me into a soldier. Well, then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. D does everybody have, like, a door on their brain, or are the doors, like like, attachable. I was wondering about that last time, too. Or is it just, is that just the visualization of going into somebody's mind? Well, we're going into so, his mind. this is it. The mental world. And it starts it in this, like, like a little... Office. I was gonna say a recruitment office, but yeah. Dentist office. For a mental dentist? It's a recruiting office, kid. Or a dental and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world, being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Heck yeah. This is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late. Too late, soldier. <laughs> but you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. So yeah, this world I think just kind of acts as like the tutorial, but let's sock oh, him in the jaw. Yeah. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Charge! That was a long line delivery. Oh, he's gone. What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here, too, if you don't get moving right Whoa, now. keep it PG, man. All right. So I like how, like, his face can get projected anywhere without, like, a projection screen. I don't know why I fell down there, except that I'm just kind of bad. All right. And it's going to give me instructions on how to do all the basic controls, which I mostly was able to figure out anyway, but, you know, it's nice to have an on-screen, like, something explained to you. What are these called? Figments? Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. I mean, isn't this all, like, a figment of your imagination? They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. 
Alright, got the first figment, collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you will earn new psychic abilities. So I guess this is... <laughs> I feel like the voice actors are having a lot of fun with this game. Um, also this game, Emotional Baggage. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. This game has such good wordplay. Okay. See, th this is one of the... There's the tag. This is one of the games that I played for Steam Sember that I remember, like, perfectly. I mean, I have a pretty good memory that I can remember the beginning of, the, of a lot of the games that I played. But this one, just everything about it is so colorful and stylized that it just really stuck with me. Alright, so I open the bag, and what, aren't I supposed to get something for that, for opening the bag? Isn't that supposed to be a thing? On this page you can see what you've collected in the current area, make sure you come back here after you've collected some figments, so you can look at them up close with the figment viewer option. Um, this page shows you how you're doing in the bigger scheme of things. Also, once you get your scavenger hunt list, this is where you'll keep it. Uh, this page automatically remembers what what task, tasks you're working on. If you're ever unsure what to do next, come back here to jog your memory. Once you've cracked open a mental vault, you'll store the memories you find in here. Come back and watch them. So, what, what does the emotional baggage actually do, though? This handy map shows you the layout of the camp. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, there's five mental mental baggage claims, I guess. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. Yeah, there's not really a way to explain how to use a ladder. You just kind of got to like go up to it. But yeah, it is kind of like collect a thani. I hope you're able to go back inside everybody's brains to like recollect things if you miss them because like going up hill in January. This, this game is wanting me to collect everything. It just really makes me want to collect. Are there 100 figments in each mind world? Or are there more than that and it just takes 100 to level up? Because I already got 29. Each Some of the figments are worth more than one figment point. That's okay, I want all of them. I like how it lets you like look at the figments because I'm guessing each character has different kinds of figments. His are all... Part of his war flashbacks. Oh, okay. I gotta be timing that. And let's wait for the fire again. Very good. Oh, I like the background too. I like the smoky background. Okay, Mr. Bully. Cotton Candy Man. Cotton Candy Randy. This is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Well, <laughs> Bobby Delta's foot. That's what. You're stupid, new kid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't ever make that sound again. That's horrible. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. So it's a rare plant that shows up in people's brains when they've been having nightmares. I mean, thanks for saving me, but I want to go down there anyway, because I want this stuff. So I think the bigger the figment, the more figment points it is. There, there definitely, there's definitely more than a hundred figment points in each place, because I already have more than that. Classified route. This is that more advanced route that Raz intuitively, intuitively knew there would be. Advanced route. So we got some uh, barricades. We got like a hatchet. There, there must have been some messed up stuff that happened to 
oleander. I mean, I mean that's just war. But this is the only uh, Mindscape world I've seen so far, so I'm really curious to see what other characters have mind worlds and what they're like. Um, like, um, Sasha 9, I can only wonder, he's some, like, mysterious Russian uh, secret agent. I'm curious what kind of stuff he has going on in his brain. Um, the other one, the woman, I'm guessing that she has, like, I'm hoping for hers to be some kind of, like, psychedelic stuff. I've heard that each character's have, like, a lot of, like, secrets and, like, there's a lot of room for, like, theory crafting and stuff about some of them and, like, what they're dealing with. I mean, the Oleander's is pretty overt. It's about, you know, he's been a soldier, he's been in the war, so that's where a lot of his trauma comes from. I know I'm probably going backwards here. Yeah, that that's the area that I skipped before, but I mean, I, I want these figments. I'm not just going to leave them behind. I want everything. So yeah, I'm like brain level two now, I guess. And getting over here, grab the hatchet, grab the barricade. Is there anything else down there that I might have missed? I don't see it if I did. I know I missed one on my way through this platforming section. There's that one blimp there. So yeah, having a secret, more advanced route doesn't really help. It's just another place that I need to like collect stuff from. Ah, oh, darn cycles. Okay, got it. And here we go. Um, but yeah, I haven't played Brutal Legend, even though I just really like the the aesthetic of it. Um, I also haven't played a Day of the Tentacle, which technically is like a sequel to um, Maniac Mansion. But I have played Grim Fandango, which is a game no, I really like. Yeah, you used that one already, buddy. Um, Grim Joey. Fandango is just no. a great game. I recommend it. Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You're talking too slow. <laughs> Why would talking too slow prevent you from hearing me? Oh well. All right, so I can pull myself up here. Anything down there for me to pick up? No. It's game day, kid. Um. So am I going up or down or all around? Let's look over here. Um. Don't see. Oh. Okay. There's, there's another bag here. Sad bag. Oh, I already had the. The tag for that one. Good. So it was the tag that was in the open this time and the bag that was more hidden. They're so happy to be reunited. So what does the tag represent? If the bags represent emotional baggage, are the tags like have resolution? I have not stood around once. I have been moving this whole time. I know that you're, you know, a drill sergeant and you need to be mean because that's how drill sergeants teach. But credit where credit is due, man. I'm doing pretty... Well, picking up all these figments, I gotta say. And all these A-bombs. And that up there. The, the ones that get me are the ones that... that the, a pig? The ones that really um, mess me up are the ones that move around because I can not notice them as they're going by or I could not be looking at them during the limited time that they're visible. Also, some of them, because they're transparent, some of them can be a little hard for me to see. Alright, let's go on this way. What kind of monkey? Like a rhesus monkey? Like a, uh, like a gibbon? Like a macaque? Don't worry, if you fall, you can just glide down on your giant Dumbo ears. Watch those mines, kid. Okay, I'll watching the mines. Like a okay, I remember. Oh, sorry. I keep trying to talk to people, and why is it talk to people, right? Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. All right, follow me, and I'll help you. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. So, I need to walk a path, and I can't go too far ahead of him, because he's always going to go 
straight towards me. So I need to make sure he doesn't... At least he's kind of, like, carefully shuffling. Um... I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, come on, man. Oh, wait, wait, hey! Come on. Stay with me here. Okay. <laughs> wow, he was really easy to console there. Okay, can we just squeeze through here? At least the mines are easy to see. Yeah, okay. Press Y to reassure. Almost there. Almost there, bud. You almost got it. All right. Look, Raz. I didn't explore at all. Good hustle out there. Hey. Um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. All right, got a uh, psychic arrowhead. Its raw energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they add up over time. All right. I'll grab that one. There's a few others that I want to grab here now that I don't have Dogen to... Ouch. Whoa. Okay, so that's like an insta-kill, I think. Because we do have lives. And I'll get that Minesweeper, and I think that's everything here. Luckily, it saved Dogen getting across, because that's the more annoying part of this segment. Alright, and should we climb this? Yeah, yeah, we're bringing up the flag. <laughs> I like his big happy smile there. Okay, to save your progress, press start to open your journal. And on the first page, save. Cool. Oh, I didn't notice before, this gate looks like his head. We're going into his mouth here. Alright, grab that. And there's this kid who, like, tells me a funny story. Washington have a shoot when he crossed the Delaware? Just jump! <laughs> it's true, Washington did not have a shoot. All going to die. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. <laughs> yeah, so there's this kid who, like, first tells you the story of his dog, dog forever lady. until you hit the door. Lady and I used to go for long walks. <laughs> they would go on and on and on and on. This one time, we went on a walk we called the longest walk of all time. First, we went to the end of our street, and then we turned a deep left, and then we turned left, and then we took a side road. So I guess he's just gonna cycle for a while. around different and then we things you might do for a walk. And then I gave Lady <laughs> a bone. <laughs> I like him. All right, so we jump down here and through to the next area. Sorry this is going on a little bit long already, but I do really want to get back to the spot that I ended on before. I landed on a snowman. Hey, look! It's Raz! Oh, I hate these two. Hey, Raz is here! Yeah! Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game. We can't do it. Yeah, we're no good, and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins. Yay, Raz! Just punch that to start. All right, so I need to oh, I need to jump punch. Okay. Okay, target chorus points needed 20, time given 60 seconds. You won't receive any points for hitting friendly targets. But will I lose points for hitting friendly targets? Like is there an incentive for me not to punch everything that I see? Yeah, I remember this too. I remember them keep yelling punch. All right. Seven, eight, eight. Yeah, I think they go away after a second, too. Yeah, these guys never shut the heck up. It's actually more annoying with the subtitles in the way. I was hoping the subtitles would be a little bit smaller. I mean, I appreciate them making these character portraits, though. Um, it is aesthetically pleasing, but it kind of takes up a lot of the screen. It takes up a little bit more than I'd like it to. That's a great reward. That's great. Th this game gets me. Um, there weren't any family-friendly targets, though, I noticed. It was all just the... Well, now it's giving me more time, which makes me think that it's going to be a harder version of it. Sorry, I'm being a little completionist about this here. Die. Skeletons that are 
dual-wielding shotguns. Or maybe they're just, like, really comically big pistols and it's the perspective. This is a very cartoony game. Yep. Yeah, they move fast. They move too fast. Yeah, this is definitely the harder version of the course here. That's a baby. Yep. They're, they're moving just too fast for me. Yep. There we go. All right. Cool, so I do get something for replaying the game. I get some psychic arrowheads. Get this duck. Get this barricade. Oh. They got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy has not allowed any secrets in wartime. Are they, soldier? Let's no, sir. And bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. Now, I've been told, actually, because this guy's vault isn't really that, like, shameful, but I'm told that he actually has, like, another one that actually gets more into his... Yeah, Oleander's pride. Yeah, this is back when he used to have legs, I guess. He has very long legs in these pictures. Did he get, like, his legs amputated, like, um... Like Cotton Hill? Yeah, I'm thinking... Because, like, why would you hide that away? That's something that you like about yourself. There, there, there's definitely a deeper one in there somewhere. You've just absorbed some mental health. I love that. Maintaining your mental health is important because if you run out, you will not be able to maintain your astral protection in, in this mind, and you'll be kicked back into the real world. Well, I do not want that. So, how about you? What are you... Oh, you're a teleporter. Right. Okay. Not interested in that. So I'm going to cross this bridge here, and we got the, um, yeah, we have the, uh, minigun field here. Uh, yeah, this is where the, um, is it if I run out of lives, I get kicked out? Whoops. Yeah, I remember this part being hard for me for the first time, but at least... At least if you die, it, um, saves the figments that you had. Okay, but I still don't want to lose more of my lives than I have to. I, I thought, I thought there was a way to open the walls here. Do I, do I need to punch the wall? Oh, okay. You punch the wall and it... It brings up the next part of the wall. That's good, because they definitely catch up to you here. And there's bunnies. There, there's bunnies on the battlefield. Go over here. Okay, do I already have the tag for this one? Yes, I do. Oh, he's so glad. He missed his tag so much. <laughs> I, I have to think that they're kind of, like, trying to be ironic with how happy that music is, given everything else that's going on. Okay, uh, don't, don't fire, don't fire. Oh, I'm too slow. I need some kind of, like, psychic run ability. No, it still says that I have five razzes over there. Did I always have five razzes? Every time I've, like, bothered to look, I've had five. So, yeah, there's some mental health for me there, now that I don't need it because I'm at full mental health. I think the mental health comes out of the animals, like the, um... Okay, I saw a figment back here, and I want it, and I got it. So let's make for that wall. Good. Even if I'm far away from the wall. Oh, come on. The mental health was right there. The bullet started hitting me before the wall was actually out of the way. Okay, so I guess... I don't know. what. How does it actually kick me out? I... I'm not seeing too much penalty for death here. Um, hit that. And keep going. Hit the wall. I think I'm dying more this time than I did the last time I did this. Oh, I would have been okay with dying if I could have just grabbed the figment. Poop. Alright. And run. Sometimes it stops firing, me, firing at me when it can't see me anymore. So... I don't know what that's all about. 
and hit. And bring it over here. Uh, oh, yeah, I can... I think I can blow up the gun. Yeah, it turns the gun off. Or at least makes the gun stop firing. So now I can go out here and grab this. Okay, so I didn't even need to be trying to get all those figments right then and there. I could have completed the challenge and then grabbed the figment. But okay, we got a duffel bag tag. Duffel bag tag. Duffel tag bag. You didn't do anything. Also, you're going the wrong way. What, what, what is he actually trying to have us do in this exercise? Are we just supposed to survive till the end of the time, or are we supposed to get to the end of the obstacle course? Well, it's an obstacle course, so that suggests that we're trying to go from the beginning to the end. What happens if I go out here? Okay. No, it's just some cool quasi-gravity, um, quasi-dimensional stuff. You can do that. It's in the, it's in the brain. Laws of space and time don't apply the same way. Get that pig. Get that monster. It's like a monster general. Maybe he had a really mean commanding officer. And he's continuing the tradition now. Get that. And... Yes! This is where I finished off last time. I remember because I was having trouble figuring out how to do these... These poles. Yeah, upper body strength does not look like my strong suit, but at least Raz has, like... H how do I change directions? This was the same thing I couldn't figure out last time. Dismount the bar with B, sure, but I need to... Yeah, I missed it again. Okay, there we go. Why? Just had to try buttons. Now that I know that there is a way to dismount the bar is nice but since i stopped on these poles last time this is where i'm going to stop now uh thank you for watching if you did watch it maybe you guys skipped this one because you saw the steam sember episode or maybe you watched this and the steam sember episode and you're feeling like you didn't get a lot of new content i did accomplish a little more this time with like side objectives though i think but anyway um I'm hoping to have the second episode of this out, like, right tomorrow, so that you won't wait for me to get to an actual new part of the game. It's gonna be new for me, maybe it's new for you. So, thanks for joining, I will see you tomorrow with more Psychonauts. Take care.